All right, hey guys, what's up? It's Ben. Today I'm going to be showing you how to um, edit cod clips, like for trick shot montages, sniping montages, whatever, in Final Cut, which I normally use After Effects or Premiere, but I kind of want to make this because I was messing around and made this in a couple minutes, and I wanted to show you guys how to sync clips and do all that, so I, shot so I will do these. Order these two just to show you a preview, and I'm going to use West London, which I got off SoundCloud in the last video I did, just to show that. And uh, I'm going to put the uh, download links to um, all of the audio files um, that I use the DSR shot and the whoosh that I'm going to put right in front of it. So that's what this sounds like. Okay. So let me go back to Final Cut. And let's open up this and drag this here. All right, so we're gonna leave a little bit of room for it, but we're gonna put this right here. I'm gonna zoom back in. That's it, I found the part in the song I wanna, I wanna sync it up. Which is so we're gonna adjust the clip accordingly to give us, to trim it down a little bit. So this little excess stuff for the shot. So we're gonna move this over move the uh, audio back out so we want to sync that up to uh, where the beat drops so what we're going to do is we're going to go in our clip clip and hit command R to bring up the speed so here we can change the speed uh, velocity by putting in uh, keyframes so what we're going to do that we're going to make the clip fade in slow because it's the beginning of the edit and what we're going to do to add a keyframe so we're gonna put in, we're gonna hit Shift B, and it'll add in this little keyframe right here. So to make this slower or faster, we're gonna drag it out or drag it in. And if you want to get more precise, you can double click anywhere to the right of this uh, little arrow, and you can enter in your uh, custom speed. So we're gonna fade this. In. And by the way, we're gonna drag the audio down so we don't hear any of that audio. Okay, so that's a little too slow. We're gonna put this to about 80. And you just kind of mess with it to get it to what you want. Um, all right. So now we're gonna add another keyframe. Just put a few in here um, to make it just fluctuate a little bit. I'm gonna put this at 120. I'm gonna put this, another keyframe here. We're going to put this at like 80. And then we're going to find the next keyframe. We're just going to sync perfectly up with the beat. So we're going to put it right on the start of the beat. Hit Shift B. And we are going to stretch this to be a little bit slower here. So it matches right up where the gunshot is. We'll keep stretching this right here. All right, now we're going to drag these two right on to, right before because I always put the whoosh a little bit before so the top end of the whoosh right here is right where the DSR shot goes okay so obviously this isn't looking flowing it's not flowing a lot so we're gonna go up here when we're selected the clip and go to video quality and put on frame blending so now you can see it's doing that up there it's rendering it out so So after we hit the shot, we are going to add another keyframe. We're going to speed this. I just want to put that a little farther out. Put another keyframe. We're going to speed this up to about 170. So right, I'm actually going to do this right here. I'm going to do that. I'm going to put it right here because it's midway through this keyframe that we want to make the clip faster. So I'm going to create this at 130. That's that kind of full. Alright, so now we're going to hit B to open up our blade tool. It's basically splitting clips. We're going to cut right here and then hit A to go back to our select tool. So now we're going to go far in the clip where we have the kill cam. So I'm going to start it here because you don't want to start right at the beginning. 
And normally when I do uh, kill cams, I want to crank it up to like 250 before I start doing the keyframing. So I'm going to hit Command R to pull up our speed again, and then I'm just going to change the whole clip speed to 250 and see how that looks. Okay. So now I'm going to like speed ramp into the next clip. So I'm going to hit Shift B and I crank this up to about 400, and it'll fade in. All right, now we're going to duplicate these by uh, hitting Command C and then Command V. And we are going to select these and drag them to the point where we want the next shot to be. I actually want to make this speed up before the shot to make it look a little better. So we are going to hit Shift B, go to the shot, and we're going to crank this up to a. Now I need to zoom in a little bit more. I need to crank this up a little bit to about 350. Add in a little transition in between these two clips too to make it look a little better. All right, so now I'm going to move on to the next clip. Obviously, you can get more precise to this. I'm just showing you guys the basics of timer mapping and all that inside of Final Cut. So we're going to go here to the next clip, and I would add cinematics in between these, but I'm just showing you guys the basics on here. All right, so I want to make it on this next bar. So it does add a little. Bit. All right, so I'm going to go here, and I'm going to make this a little bit slower at the beginning so that we can get that to line up because obviously the shot hit a little faster than we wanted it to. So we're going to crank this down to, crank it down to 80. Then after the uh, shot, I normally like making it so it rips the clip out really fast. I'm gonna make this keyframe up to 200. I just want this whole clip to be All right, so there we go. So we're gonna go back to Blade Tool and cut this out because we don't want this anymore. All right, because I'm making this the end of this little edit, I'm going to make this fade out right here. So I'm going to go down to my blade tool, and I'm going to cut the audio down here. And what I'm going to show you now is uh, the fades. So we're going to go up to transitions, go to all, do fade to color. We're going to put that on the end, we're going to put that at the beginning. So it fades in, fades out. Make this a little longer. Then we're going to make this fade really long on the back half. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to put those keyframes on the audio like we did on the uh, clips. What we're going to do is we're going to click the audio, go up the volume, hit this button for a keyframe. We're going to be at the end of our clip. We're going to keyframe this, put it down to negative infinity. Then we're going to go back to where we started the black, add another keyframe this up to zero so you see it'll fade up there. we're going to do that at the beginning too so we're going to add a keyframe go to negative infinity we're going to go to here add another keyframe put it at zero all right guys so i have Kind of put this together a little more here adding in some color corrections and some black bars and then some effects on my shots like that or something like this it zooms out and then goes in so i'll have the final edit at the end of the video so look forward to that but basically what i did was i got adjustment layers which i'll link the video in the description that teaches you how to get these but adds them under like text titles and you just drag them on and make them the full length of the video for the first one 
I went down to effects and looked up the letter box under all and dragged it on and gave us the black bars. The other one is my color correction, which is uh, LUTs. So if I go down here to um, MLUT, that's where I loaded it off of here. So there's videos on that too, so I'll try to find the video link for that. And I'll put it in the description too, so that's why I put on this uh, color correction. And then for the effects, what I did was before doing effects, when I had all my editing, my uh, speed mapping and everything, I went to new, co new compound clip. And before you do this, make sure you're done doing the syncing because this will make it a standalone clip. You can no longer go in and edit all the things. So once you do that, you can hit OK and it makes it easier to edit. And what I basically did on the shot, so say this is where the shot was, right here, I would zoom in. If you want to get more precise, hit B and I'd split it in half and I'd put my transitions over here. I'd put some transitions like I did here. If I uh, zoom in on these. I basically split the clips in half to put transitions in between where the shot is and the rest of the clip. So I'd split the clip here, put in my transition, and that's how I'd add the effects. So basically that's a quick and easy way to edit Final Cut Pro. I hope you guys followed along this video and it was informative and uh, thanks for watching. See you.